วัสดีค่ะ Peanut and s w e e t e r สบายดีกันไหมคะทุกคนสวัสดีค่ะ s i l a m สบายดีกันไหมคะทุกคน Happy morning <laughs> Okay, so today's topic is um, my advice. สวัสดีค่ะอับดุลสบายดีค่ะยังไม่ได้กินข้าวเลยเดี๋ยวไลฟ์เสร็จแล้วไปกินข้าวเนาะ I'm what you should know when learning Thai. So um, before it gets started, basically I've prepared ten advice. <laughs> so how should I pronounce your name then? <laughs> okay, so um, there are ten that I have prepared. สวัสดีค่ะดิพิกาอ u m but before getting to it, I would like to answer some questions that I would like to explain. So there are five of them. The first one I. Oh yeah, you are happy to learn. It's it's good. It's good. Like if you feel happy and you enjoy learning, I think you're gonna go in a long run. <laughs> okay. So uh, the question that I just got, the first one is um, the meaning of r a k d i Okay. So basically, I think you guys know the meaning of the word. A rock. So I'm gonna type in the chat. So, so basically, a rock means to love, and then the word d means good. However, when we put rock d together, it's not. It's not that like you love someone or you love someone well. But we call or we use the word r a k d i as a character of someone who lean who leans toward doing good or lean towards um, good stuff. For example, if you are a student and you um, pay attention into your class, you are diligent. You like um, you perform well as a student, then we call that student r a k d i Like d e k r a k d i d e k means children or a kid. So d e k r a k d i means um, a student who learn towards um, good stuff, like um, pay attention into um, their classes and all those stuff. And we also use the word r a k d i with um, People like, for example, <laughs> for example, um, okay. So uh, let's say you are, let's say you are a woman, and then there are two guys that like you. One guy is a very good guy. He has got a good job, and he has got a good family. This is just an example, and the other guy, he might not be as good at as this one. This one might not have um good characters or good good education or um good family as this one. Or let's say this guy is kind of like a bad guy, and this one is a good guy. And if you choose a good guy. <laughs> Then um, I think we 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 can use that you r a k d i r a k d i and if you choose this one which is a bad guy, then you my r a k d i So when uh, we say r a k d i with someone like that person, lean toward on good stuff or choose to do choose to do good stuff. Mm. Okay. Um. Um, if you want to say my r a k d i means ungrateful, um, it it could be in that way. Like if you kind of like you take care of your parents, you pay back to the 
them, then we say รักดี But if you do not listen to your parents or um, do not take care of them, then yeah, you are ไม่รักดี Okay, and um, more question that I would like to explain. The first one is the word กรีดกรายกรีดกรายและเล่นใหญ่ So these two are different. Um, กรีดกรา So when we say someone is กรีดกรา it means like that person kind of like move delicately. And when we say someone เล่นใหญ่ it just means that that person like just like over Overreact in a good way, in a fun, in a fun, in a funny way, or um, um, play big. <laughs> It's the direct translation for it, but um, they're different. They're different. And the next one is, คึกคักแอนด์พุทพุพานคึกคักแอนด์เดนพลุกพลานไรเนี่ยอ่ะพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุกพลานพุ
I wish it means in such a way that it's gonna be um, pretty funny, but the lot why just mean that the market is over. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, there's a question that I would like to explain. Then, let's get into the main advice. So, what you should know when learning Thai? The first one that I want to tell you is you cannot do um, direct translation from Thai to English or from English to Thai. Like sometimes you can do it for kind of like very basic sentences, but so many times, um, in um, in English and in Thai we say and we use words differently. For example, for example, if um if you wanna order, let's say you wanna order a coffee, in English. In English, you would say, I want a coffee. I want a coffee. This is like when you order something. However, in Thai language, we say, Ao, Ao, Ao cafe. Ao cafe. Cafe means coffee, and Ao means to take. So in this case, in Thai language, we use to take, like, um, I would like to take coffee. I'm gonna take coffee. Uh, I'll take coffee. So the word that we use is to take. Um, I'm speaking to this because like um, there are someone commented um, under my video <laughs> that I was teaching Thai. So I someone, uh, someone. So um, It's what, what I just explained to you. When we want to order something, we say ow, which means to take. And there's someone commented and said that like, no, um, ow means to want, which is which, which was like, ah, uh, you're not even a native speaker. <laughs> Why would you fight me for that? <laughs> and I was like, please go away. Um, um, so, in English, you say, I want. In Thai, we say, ow, which means to take. Like, I'm gonna take this one. So, mm. And another example is, again, when we want to choose some, something, then we say, ow. Like, for example, ow, ani. Ow, ani. Um, again, the direct translation or the way we say is um, I'm gonna take this one. However, sometimes when you use in English, you say like I choose this one. So in English, it's gonna be another word which is choose. Again, in Thai, we say take or ow, like we say ow. So it, it differs on in the context and the word we use that you cannot do the direct, direct translation and you cannot ev even use your language to to judge the word that we use. Okay, another example is, this is just from uh, the video that I work on um, teaching Thai from the BL actors or the BL series. Um, for example, um, if we say, the direct translation of the word tong that we use means must. However, if you're gonna say this sentence in English, you would say like being a star, you cannot be shy. So in English, it's gonna be like can't be. So you you cannot do the direct translations from Thai to English or English to Thai because so many times we use different words in the context. That's the first one. And then the second one, 
The second one that I want to tell you is be careful of building your pattern to re to relearn especially for speaking is not easy and it will take longer time than you wish if you have built an incorrect pattern for your speaking i'm saying this because i'm experiencing it with so many students and even the current students that i have um i'm teaching private classes right now and I experiment I experience it with my students. Yeah, so Google Translate is like ah <laughs> like I I've checked so many times like when I see my students use some weird words then I go on and check on Google Google Translate and I was like ah Google you just made mess up my students. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to tell you this because it's very important for you to build your pattern, especially speaking, because if you have built or say wrong pronunciation since the beginning, it's difficult for me to fix it later. And even I try to fix you or the students like 10 times, 20 times. When you are unconscious, you're going to go back to your first pattern. And this is happening. And I saw so many students have been think something like this. So that's why I want you to be careful to build your speaking patterns, especially for speaking. So when you learn to speak for the first time don't speak from your eyes but speak from your ears what i mean is when you try to speak by reading from romanization you will never get the correct tone or correct pronunciation so that's how I say, do not learn to speak from your eyes. Like, don't read the romanization and say the sentence at a word. But speak from your ears. So, listen. Like, um, there are so many sources that I believe that you can access to listen to the native speakers. I think this applies so to any languages that you are learning listen to it and speak from you have heard from the native speakers and imitate it so speak from your ears this is very important what happened with me was this very simple um words which is the word crap for male so a male particle crap 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 and I have found that many students say crap, crap, crap. I do believe because they speak it from how they read from the romanization or whatever. Because Thai people never say crap, crap, never, ever. So we always say crap, crap, crap. So one of my students, um, he said, crap, crap, crap. And I tried to fix him. And like, I did it like during the class for 10 times. And when he's conscious, he pay um, attention into it, listen and repeat after me. Then he can do it like nicely, like crap. He said, crap, crap, crap. However, at the end of the class, it's unconscious because we are saying goodbye. And again, he go back to the same parent and say crap at the end. And it was like, <laughs> so that's why I want to warn you and tell you in advance. The third one, the third one, this is a thing.
thing. Never learn Thai from romanization. I said this before in my previous lives, and I want to say it again, and I want to emphasize you. You cannot go far if you learn Thai from romanization. Romanization helps for novices or beginners at the beginning. It just like, for me, it just help you to get started, but it will not get you it far in the long run. So if you want, really want to learn the language, learn from the alphabet itself. I think this, this could apply to Thai, to Japanese, to Chinese, to Korean as well because we do not use um, Roman letters. The fourth one, the fourth one, which I want to shout. <laughs> you cannot use BL language in real life as it's full of curse words, rude words, impolite, phrases I know like many of you have watched a lot of BF series and so many times my students just imitate the words that they from the BF series I know it I know it because the way the words that the student use with me I can I can just tell that they they, they, they took it they got it from the BF series but they're not polite. However, so many times, I, I am not a teacher who correct the students all the time because there will be times that I will need to let the students use the language and be confident with it. And I also know that later, you're gonna know and you're gonna correct yourself. So it's not for me, it's not my job to correct you all the time in public and then you feel embarrassed and then you don't feel confident. I want you to feel confident and I know that you can do mistakes so many times but later you're gonna get it. Get back to it because I do not advise you to use Thai as in the BL language because most of the setting are in schools and in universities where cross friends or students are speaking kind of like impolite word or rude words usually if you want to imitate or learn from the BLs choose to learn from the series that are not in school or not in university, like in um, home, family, or workplace setting. Like at those setting, it's gonna be proper language that we use in daily life. And when you come to Thailand, when you come to Thailand, when you speak to Thai, we do not expect you to use the BL language. Like I mean, just, uh, that students are using, like it's their world. When you come to Thailand, we, we expect you to use proper Thai, which is like polite Thai. Like in um, workplace setting, or if you wanna choose, like you can watch like an interview program. I basically like um, interview programs because it's casual, it's informal, but still polite. So, mm. the fifth one, my fifth advice, daily exposure to different sources is a key. I'm, um, I know like some of you like love to watch BL series so much and you keep on watching it but you need to expand your views 
it takes me quite some time to figure out BL language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the word "com" is like it's a new word, and I think it just it just we just started using this word like this year or just like a few years ago. Like "com cup" is not. I don't I don't know what to say that it's a Thai word, but it's like what "com." <laughs> okay, but people are using it. Okay. So, um, da uh, daily exposure to different sources. I just, uh, not just for a while already, that I read a book, Atomic Habits. So I've, I finished that book and I think so many principles in that book can apply to learning language as well. For example, if you do things just one or ten percent better in the same thing that you're doing but in many aspects or in different details you're gonna improve so much or dr drastically it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you need to improve like from 10 to 50 but you just need to improve like even just one percent or five percent of things that you're doing like just do it a little bit better but do it in many things in your life for example if you are now learning Thai if you are like charting note on your notebook, if you want to do it just a little bit better, maybe you just like add a table into it so that it's clearer to remember, understand, or um, start using um, coloring pens or highlighters. Like just improve things around you a little bit and then everything all together is going to be big. you read the book as well right <laughs> it's good one like we can apply it to so many things like I I I care about people's feelings and I want them to feel good with learning I want you to feel confident I want you to feel that you are progressed and I do not want you to feel like negative stuff and that could dis discourage you and also another rules that can apply to you is the two minutes rule the two minutes rule is just something to keep you up like for example if you need, if you plan that you are going to learn um, Thai every day, then you might feel like, oh no, I do not want to do it because it's going to take you time. However, if you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it for two minutes. And once it's complete two minutes, I'm going to stop it. When you feel like, oh, it's going to be just only one minute or it's just only going to be two minutes, then you feel like it's easier. I would just um, get up, write down five words, and then five, two minutes done. The thing is, when you get started and when you start writing down five words, it's gonna turn out that you're gonna continue doing it. It's gonna be something like, oh, you already um, write down five words. Ah, just do it a little bit more. So the two minutes rule is just for you to tell yourself, I'm gonna do it just two minutes, then it's gonna be done. Just to kick you up to do things. And if you feel 
if you may feel lazy with learning language, you might apply this trick. And I also use the tricks with my students as well. Like for example, um, I did post in the Facebook community asking my student like um, asking the, the members in the group like um, how's your progress in learning time and there are so many comments and I try to make sure that I reply to everyone and what I reply to them most of my replies based on the atomic habits and one of my advice was like i tell one student like what you only need to do is to write down five sentences in thai and when i say five sentences in thai it doesn't mean that you need to compose by yourself you can just like copy five Thai sentences from anywhere from Facebook from any Thai people's post or from like any source just copy that five sentences on your notebook just that just do it and then I know that based from this principle when you start writing it down and i just want you to write down like five sentences of five words once you do that automatically you're gonna continue it when you already write five sentences you're gonna feel like you want to know the meanings you want to feel like you want to know this word you want to feel like oh what if it's this meaning what's the sentence and then you're gonna do research like you will go from there but just like kick you up write out five words and go from it or if you don't if you don't want to feel to go anywhere else just stop it <laughs> ah your family's from thailand okay go you can get started with the two minutes rule. <laughs> um, can you learn Thai by listening to songs? Personally, this is going to be my personal advice. Listening to a Thai song or trying to sing a Thai song can kick you up to learn a language. But you do not learn Thai from a song. When you try to sing a song or you enjoy listening to um, a song and then you just like sing along and then it comes that you can sing a Thai song, it's gonna kick you up because you're gonna feel like, oh, I can do something with the language. I can, I can, I can sing a Thai song and for me it's a good feeling for you to kickstart yourself however um i do not i personally do not learn a language through a song i think a song is just kind of like um a thing that help you enjoy your journey more and please do it <laughs> <laughs> just I, I just like because when um when you sing or when even Thai people sing like the way we sing is not the way we speak mm. uh, <laughs> Hope Kunka some yeah Oh Abner I'm I'm glad to hear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just repeating um the alphabet song. It's gonna help you remember. 
I think we sang, uh, we sing, we sing the Thai alphabet songs in the past as well, like when we were kids, to get us um, remember the alphabets. Like there are 44. I know it's a lot, but keep going. <laughs> okay, and this is this is my strategy. <laughs> This is um, the strategy that I have learned from the company that I worked for when I was a um, fresh graduate. The strategy of the company that I worked with was always to increase the sales is to increase the frequency and penetration. And I think these two rules can apply to so many things in life and today it's going to apply to learning language to increase your frequency and penetration will help you a lot to increase the frequency for example if you like let's say if you learn Thai just one day a week increase your frequency to learn Thai or to write out um, five sentences two days a week, three days a week, or times, like five times a week. If you listen to something or read something like once a week, increase your frequency to be two times a week. So increase the frequency on everything that you are doing, just one, like from one to be two, from two to be three. And to increase your presentation. Prenotation means you put actions more in your schedule. Like put it in your life more. Like for example, um, if you haven't start try to learn to read Thai, like from chart stories, for example, start doing it. If you haven't um, make a fresh cards for remembering the Thai alphabet or vocabulary, start doing it. If you haven't um, found a Thai friend to talk to, start doing it. So presentation means to put the actions more in your life, in your schedule. So once you do these two, it's gonna multiply the result. Guys, do it. Sawadika, <laughs> mixer, sawadika. Okay, then the sixth one. I feel like writing is underrated for practicing. I have found out that writing helps you a lot on remembering the sentences, the vocabulary, the sentence structure. So writing helps you to remember better and build you a good foundation than a loosened base. When I say a loosened base, it means that you do not have a strong foundation of the language. And if you want to build a strong foundation of a language or the language that you're learning, writing is a key practice. And writing can help you prevent being this, so it's a Thai phrase. Khao hu sai thalu hu khua. Sawadhi ka, not. Okay, so khao khao hu sai thalu hu khua means that 
when you listen or when you or when you hear or when you study about something you listen to it it enter your one ear and then instead of keeping it remembering it you just let it go through another ear so and then you forget it so it's a Thai phrase Again, I sent that sentence. I sent up all the Thai words that I teach on chat. So you can check it out. So, again, um, <clears throat> I was teaching a student. And, again, these thing happened. So whatever I teach... You repeat after me. It was perfect. But once I asked you again, you couldn't remember it. <laughs> so, writing is an action to help you fix this <laughs> So whenever you learn, make sure that you write them down every time. And it's going to help. And it does help. The next one, number seven. Listen to different kinds of talks, dramas, on stage, interviews, because like in those scenic setting, it's standard casual conversa conversation. Like I said it before, it's informal, it's casual, but still polite. This is what you need, guys. You, do not, you, you don't want to be formal. You want to be informal, casual, being fun, but still polite. Hmm. So choose um, the setting that you're going to learn the language from like um, friends, Colleagues, like at work, I mean. Family members, like to older, to younger, all this stuff, we use um, polite language. The last three. Ah. So, which country are you in? All of your family speak Thai. But not you. <laughs> okay, number eight. Read a lot helps to build you in terms of sentence structure, vocabulary choices, phrases, and forms, like um, the sentence shaping. And reading is going to help to shape you to speak more beautifully this is what i have learned because when you listen and you do not write down you listen when you listen only you will not be able to remember stuff like 100 percent. but when you read you read it most of the time when we write, when we write it's going to be a complete sentence a good sentence and when you read what we write or from from a short stories all those stuff it's a proper language and it's a, already a beautiful sentences so when you read not only just like listen to the dramas but you also read from chart stories or from an article it's gonna help you shape to use the language more beautifully hmm number nine mm. number nine there are ten guys number nine Listening and reading at the same times is a good practice. But the best is when it's gonna be a time when you're learning through listening. Listen with the purpose of listen to learn, 
not listen to enjoy. It's different. When you watch BL series, dramas, or all those stuff, you listen to enjoy it. But when you listen with the purpose or conscious of listen to learn, it change. You're gonna listen more to the details of the content. You're gonna notice more of the pronunciation of each word. Like when you are on the purpose of listen to learn, you're gonna pick up more details, and it's gonna spike your learning curve. If you just like watch dramas or series like uh, just for fun, you will hear so you will hear so many words, but you will not learn as fast as when you put your intention that you're gonna listen to learn. Hmm. The last one. Ah, you are from the U.S. Thai Tao. <laughs> Is there any Thai Tao around where you live? A Thai temples. It could be where you can meet um, Thai people. Okay, the last one, guys. Number ten. Which is <laughs> concern me a little bit. Okay. Um, mm, I think if you wanna improve your learning curve a lot, I think you should have a teacher or someone. Best is a native who can help to correct you and explain you when you need it, but not all the time. You do not need that person all the time because you still need to practice. You still need to go out and use it in the world. And then there would be like once a week or twice a week where you can meet or talk with that person. And that person can explain you. I think it's one of an element that you should have. Like it could be a teacher or if you couldn't find a teacher, then a native speaker of the language. I think there are so many apps nowadays that you can um, find um, a mate to talk to, like language exchange. And when you have a Thai friends or a friends in the target language that you are learning, I think you're gonna feel, I think it's important about how you feel as well. How you feel when you're learning, how you feel along the way, how you feel overall. If you also have like a native, if you know someone, you're going to feel more secure, I guess, because like you're going to feel like, oh, there's always someone who can explain to you or give you a right answer. Mm -hmm. Ah, you have been to some temples and festivals. Ah, mm. I have been to um, a Songkran festival in a Thai temple in LA one time. Like, it's like so Thai. <laughs> Learning and leaving more. So don't... Ah. No time for being too shy. <laughs> While saying, I mean, that like you should sound to pronounce. I am, 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's um when it's written there's rarua in it. But once it's uh once it's spoken, then we go casual. And then we go casual, we relax how we speak. So we do not pronounce the ra rua. So instead of saying krap krap, which is like this this way is correct um, krap is correct and formal, but in daily life, like people just say krap krap uh krap 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 krap. However, I feel like when he meets someone, I feel I I I remember I felt this when I was buying a drink, and the seller. Said crap, crap, crap with customers. I have to say, I felt, I felt impressed. I felt impressed, and you know what? Actually, Thai people adore person who use proper Thai. Like, if there is any um, actors or actress or any stars use proper Thai, which means that um, speak politely and then pronounce while speaking. We adore them. And we even, I think we even have um, an award for a star who use proper Thai, like pronounce something like that. We, I think we even had an award <laughs> for it. <laughs> อ่าขอบคุณค่ะซบซบอย่าอย่ารู้ว่าแล้วงั้นหมายความว่าอะไรอย่างเช่นมีอ๋อมีแฟนแล้วงั้นเหรอโซอืม it's it's actually แล้วงั้น is not actually together it's actually งั้นเหรอ which is like together <laughs> so basically แล้ว means already and we usually say งั้นเหรองั้นเหรอ um like we are questioning it งั้นเหรอ but we kind of like we don't believe it um มีแฟนแล้วงั้นเหรอ me means to have Fan means a partner, a, um, can be a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Lao means already. Ngan lo means like, is it? With the feeling like, I do not agree with it. I do not think like that. I didn't think like that. I, I'm doubting. <laughs> for example, for example, um, if, if, it appeared that you do not have a partner. This is an example. I have never seen you go out with any partner. I have always seen you alone. And one day you say that, oh, you have, you already have a partner. And I said like, me fell law. Like, I'm not believe it because um, there's no evidence support. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's not long long it's ngan lo if if you supposed to hear like lao, someone said lao ngan uh it's actually shortened from lao ngan lo ah it's so easy to explain so many Thai particles, like because so many Thai particles, they do not have like exact meanings. It need to it it they are needed to be explained how we use it in which context and the feeling of using those particles. So I suitable. Ben John Du Yen Cha. Being too quiet until look like that person is cold. Ah, yes, correct. Okay, so when we say without the word krum, means to be quiet. 
So pen konyap means like you are a, a quiet person or that person is quiet, being quiet. If you add the word krum to it, krum means that like it's a character that that person is kind of like ben um, krum. It has additional character to it, like being serious. So niap krum, so you're quiet and you look serious. Mm. So in this sense, should be like being um, quiet and serious until look like that person is cold. Mm -hmm. Not just like quiet. Could you explain a little bit how to use kun? Kun. Kun um, basically means to go up or up. We use the word as a verb and as a preposition or I'm not sure how I'm gonna divide it. Okay, let's see from this um, sample. So, kun as a verb means to go up. For example, kun ton mai. Kun ton mai. Kun is a verb means to go up, and ton mai means tree. Again, again, um, this is. This gonna belong to the number one that I spoke, like my first advice that you cannot do um, a direct translation because if you gonna cramp up a, t a tree in English, you're gonna use the word crime, like to cramp up a tree. But in Thai language, we say, Kun don mai. <laughs> okay, so kun means to go up and we use it as a verb and ton mai is an object, verb and object, kun ton mai. However, we also use the word kun to add some a preposition or adverb like, for example, yo kun, yo kun, yo, yo means to lift. It's a verb. Yok is a verb means to lift. And then kun means up. So yok kun means to lift it up. And we also say yok long. Yok long. So long means to go down. So it's like up, kun, and then down, long. But it's not a verb. Mm. So Adika, Bartholomew. So what time is it in Brazil right now? What do we need to why while saying so up to our friends or people the same age or so to our seniors? It's a good question. It's a good question. And I was thinking to tell you this as well. So we normally do a Y for greeting and farewell. However, there are levels to it. So basically, we Y to someone who's older than us. So whenever we Y someone who's older than us, we do this and then we nod our head down like this. If we do, if we are why to someone who's older than us, and the person who I why to or who is older than me can just nod their head like this to accept my why. Can just do like this, or um someone would just like do this without nodding the head like to accept the why so it's just like some someone who are do older than me can accept my why just by doing this without nodding head or just like nodding head without doing this 
So yeah, to to accept the why, and to friends, we do not why friends. <laughs> we do not why friends. So just like ah, something like that, and um. People of the same age, we do not why each other. So it's more about um, the seniors and the youngers. สวัสดีค่ะคุณสู้จะจบแล้วเนี่ยเราจบแล้วเนี่ยอีกห้านาทีเนี่ย Are you going to let the life save on your channel? Yes, yes. It's always saved on uh, my channel. You can go on the playlist, live stream um, videos, and all the live streams are in that playlist. Ah, it's midnight in Brazil. Brazil is one of my destination. Ah, Sao Paulo, and you love VL series. You love VL series, but if you wanna learn to speak, do not use the BL language. <laughs> I spoke about this earlier. Ah, okay, guys. Um, this is this is it for today, and I hope my advice help you build a strong a strong foundation of learning a language. It could be any language, actually, but specifically for Thai language. สวัสดีค่ะมิยา Okay, if if you if you just started learning Thai, then I hope my advice will help you set up your mind. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know what to say, but guys, okay, this is this is it for today, and I hope to see you again next Saturday at the same time, same channel. Thai writing without space between words and difficult to read. Once, once you learn how we make a word, then it will not be difficult. ยินดีค่ะคุณบุญมา Long time no see. ยินดีค่ะอ่า Keiko, I'm not sure if I pronounce your name correctly. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> See you later, Ka, everyone. ยินดีค่ะอัมดุนสวัสดีค่ะอัมเดอร์และอัมยินดีค่ะทุกคนยินดี means you're welcome when you feel like. Um, like it's my pressure. Bye bye, everyone. Yindi ka, Gabriela. See you next week, ka, everyone. See you next week. Bye bye. Okay. See you in the next life. Bye bye, ทุกคนสวัสดีค่ะ Bye bye, ค่ะ Bye, Tolomeo.